Today's video, you guys, of course, by reading the title, is about how to attract better quality men. Now, today's video, I do want to go ahead and definitely give a thanks and a big shout out to High Value Queens. You can follow them on Instagram and subscribe to their newsletter. Their page is dedicated to helping women find better relationships, better quality men, and also just helping women overall in general when it comes to confidence. I love and all that good stuff now they were so nice enough to send me their book um this is the book on how to bag a high caliber man at 12 weeks it is a guide book this is the series one for it i definitely do recommend that you all if you're able to go ahead and check it out definitely purchase the book they have a digital copy as well so that you'll be able to just kind of get more insights on how to attract the men that you want in your life now i did at first when i got this book i was a bit hesitant about it because the first thing that you see is how to bag a high caliber man in 12 weeks i know you're thinking like oh god here's this high caliber man high value man and all that kevin samuels and Derek johnson bs i promise you this book has way more to it than you could imagine and it is not solely focusing on just the title itself it's focusing on a lot more I decided to open my mind and not just open my eyes and actually read the book and I tell you that it is really an amazing book especially for our women out there who are really trying to get a true relationship they're trying to get married have a family and actually be with the man that is there for them if you are really wanting to go ahead and start within the marriage mindset getting you a husband or just finding you a partner that you really feel is just there for you and is honest, is true, then this is a good book to definitely read to help you get yourself on track. Now, for me in this book, I definitely did want to highlight a few tips on definitely how to attract the man that you would like in your life. I'll definitely say this is not a guidebook to a full-on, oh, I'm going to successfully get me a man of my dreams. I would like to stop you there. It's going to take a lot more work than just reading books it's definitely going to take a lot more work okay ladies let's just let's just come to reality but this is definitely a good way to start in order to be able to get onto the right path now i did take eight tips from the book i'm not going to reveal all the good juicy details because i do want you all to just go and purchase the book and just definitely read it for yourself and discover what is it is that you may need to work on if you find anything in that book that is definitely highlighting something that you may have just a few problems with so the first tip i will definitely say that the book talked about and i feel like it is a number one tip when it comes to any type of relationship or just any overall in general from your job your home your family to your who knows future partner like this is something that's really really important that tip is be confident you have got to be confident in everything that you do you have got to be able to walk out and feel like you are a, nothing's against you you have to walk out smiling bright cheerful like hey i am confident i know who i am i know what i want and i know what i will be okay confidence is the most beautiful sexiest thing that anyone can have on them no one can take away your confidence but you okay um confidence definitely is something that women truly do need especially in today's day and age with the whole image of bbls and filters and photoshop you have to just remain confident you have to be tip two be approachable um now when i say be approachable i am referring to from one thing in the book they talk about is how a lot of women we have a resting b face and i'm pretty sure i know a lot of people out there who have already watched this video probably looking like I don't have no rest in B face or ah dang I have a rest in B face I have one I know it's hard to get out of that habit because you're just so used to your face being like that and you're really not trying to be a B just how your face looks but there are some tips on how to be able to make yourself look more approachable within the book so definitely check that out so that you're able to go ahead and just start getting on those tactics to be able to look just more um you know approachable tip three um for me, this is a no-brainer. This has absolutely always been me, is be positive. 
being positive is just it's it's just you know always looking at the good in life and i'm not saying that you should be naive to the bad but you know you have to look at things always from a positive aspect because when you do it just things start to you know come into place way better you know being positive is also helping you with being able to manifest what it is that you want in life because you're positive that hey i'm going to get this i'm going to do this it's going to work out in favor and it, in most cases it does you know as long as you remain positive in your mind and you're putting that work in, nothing will stop you from being able to be where you would like to be. Being positive also can help with who knows, you know, your partner, um, your future partner. Your partner may be like, hey, this person's always positive. I love the fact that they're always looking at the good things. You know, I needed that energy. Positivity is truly a huge attribute when it comes to any type of relationship. It can really be been a very beneficial. Tip four be disciplined being disciplined it can be very hard for us ladies sometimes we'll meet a guy and we're just ready to just throw it all out give him a baby get the ring popped on we just ready to just give it to them take him to town but ladies you gotta be disciplined you've got to be you can't make her just throwing your thing out to any and every guy because if that's the case then that guy's gonna be like well um I kind of got what I needed. You got to be disciplined. And definitely, there are some really, really good tips on how to be disciplined inside of the book. I promise you. Next is tip five, being a listener. A lot of us can get so caught up in our own lives and we forget that the important thing about building a relationship with someone, especially if you're wanting to get yourself um, into a marriage or a very serious relationship, is that you have to be a listener. There are some things probably that your partner, you know, may be going through and they may be trying to express that to you, but you're not trying to listen to what is what they're saying because you're so wrapped up in yourself. You have to be a good listener. When you're a good listener, you're able to point out certain things. You're being able to, let's say if they have a favorite candy, you can surprise them with their favorite candy. When you're a good listener, it shows them that you actually care and that you're actually willing to be there for them. And, you know, listen to what they have to say and not judge them for it. Tip six, being a good communicator. Communication, I think, is the most important thing when it comes to any relationship. In order for it to truly last, you have to be a good communicator. If there is something that you feel like you do not like, please speak up, ladies. A lot of us tend to just let some things slide and we don't say anything. You know, like they say, you give someone an inch, they take a whole mile. You gotta, you gotta be a good communicator. And also vice versa. If somebody's telling you something they don't like about what you're doing or X, Y, and Z, communicate that with them. Let them be able to tell you what it is. You know, don't get so defensive. Tip seven. Now, before people try to come at my neck, no, I am not trying to have you all wrapped around on a leash, okay? But tip seven is important. Be submissive. Only be submissive to a person, a man that deserves it. If he deserves it, then by all means, you will naturally be submissive to him. But being submissive is more than just being completely all about him. And it's not saying that you need to be about that guy, but being submissive can really help in the long run as far as that goes. And being submissive is more so saying that, hey, if he asks you to do something, you're going to do it. You know, even if it's just something tiny. You're willing to do that for them. Uh, let's see. Tip eight, which is the final tip, last but not least. And I feel that a lot of us ladies really do need to um, sometimes take a step back and actually realize what it is that we want, which is to be determined. You have really have to have a clear goal at what you would like. You have to have a clear goal on what you see yourself doing in the next few years. You have to have a clear goal on what you want your relationship to be. If you're just going out dating with no clear insight, but you're wanting to go out and get a husband or find an actual real life partner that you don't mind being with, you've got to know what it is that you want. You have to be determined in that goal. And do not let anybody deter you away from that if that's what you know that you truly want. Now, being determined also means that you got to stop wasting time with people that don't see the same path as you do when it comes to a relationship.
anyways ladies that was definitely my quick eight tips and eight minutes on how to be able to get a better quality man I promise you that those tips are definitely a good way to start in order to be able to truly get some type of result that you need now I will say that those were only a few tips that I did get out of the book on how to bag a high caliber man in 12 weeks there are way way more details in that book that I do recommend you go out and purchase and definitely just be able to have an open mind to what it is the book is saying about I don't want people to think that the book is just telling you on how to bag you a million or anything like that. No, this book has a lot more in depth than when it comes to dealing with grabbing someone of millionaires and stuff like that. No, this book has more to offer than that. But definitely you guys go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, show my channel love, and please definitely go and follow High Value Queens on Instagram and subscribe to their newsletter. Love you guys. Oh.